Hey there, and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Jenny, one of Festival Foods Mealtime Mentors, and today we are cooking up one of my all-time favorite dishes, loaded burger bowls. It's so simple and super, super delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the meat. We have this in a pan over medium-high heat. Today I'm using a 50-50 turkey and beef blend. Um, I didn't add any fat to the pan because the meat itself will release a little bit of fat. So I'm just going to go ahead and break this up a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in some spices. So today we are working with some onion powder. I'm going to add in about half of it and save half for the sauce I'm making in a little bit. Garlic powder, again using about half of it. Half of the paprika. And then add in oregano and then some pepper and salt. So lots of really great flavors going on in the meat here. I'm going to give this a good stir. And then we just want this to cook until it's browned and completely cooked through. So well done burgers today. All right, while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get started on our sauce. So this burger sauce is what makes the dish. I absolutely love it, and it's really easy. We're going to start with a little bit of mayonnaise. Some ketchup. Yellow mustard. And then the secret ingredient is pickle juice. A little bit of tang and lots of great flavor. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add in the rest of our spices. So just like we had in the ground beef and turkey mixture, I'm going to add in the onion powder, garlic powder, and the paprika. So the paprika also gives it a lot of really vibrant color. You can see that in a second as this comes together. Give this a good stir. We don't want any clumps in our sauce. So when I make this at home, I often just double the burger sauce because it is seriously so delicious. So if you are a saucy kind of person, I definitely encourage you to do that. Okay, that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and give our meat a quick stir right now starting to brown, but I still see a little bit of pink, so I'm going to mash this up a little more. So while this finishes up cooking, let's go ahead and talk about the rest of our burger bowl ingredients. So the base of our burger bowl, burger bowl today is going to be romaine lettuce. I just took a head of lettuce and chopped it up. You could use like a, a green mix if you would like, um, whatever your preferred type of green is. Um, I've had this on top of rice before, it's really good. Or you could try something like mashed potatoes for that kind of like burger and fry combination. And then for the toppings, um, we have some halved grape tomatoes. You could use um, any tomatoes that you have on hand, whether it's cherry tomatoes or Roma tomatoes, they're all perfect. Some shredded cheddar cheese, and again, customized to whatever you like. So if you like a spicy like pepper jack, that would also be really, really tasty. We have some sliced red onion, and then some pickle slices. So all super classic burger toppings, but this is a great time to kind of customize it to whatever your tastes are. So if you like avocado or bacon, sauteed mushrooms, you could do whatever you want. It looks like the meat just needs another minute or two. The meat looks nice and brown. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. And now it's time to build our bowl. So like I said before, we are using romaine lettuce, but I kind of wish I had mashed potatoes right now. This will be a nice salad bowl. So on top of this, I'm going to go ahead and add in our browned meat. I love this turkey and beef blend, but if you're not a huge fan of turkey or beef, you can use just ground turkey or just ground beef. Um, 
or some beef with some like finely chopped mushrooms in it. All delicious. Now I'm going to top it with some tomatoes, red onion, lots of pickles, one of my favorite toppings, some cheese, and then a nice big drizzle of this sauce. And the last thing we have, can't forget about these, are the burger bun croutons. So these croutons are just burger buns. Um, I cut them into like one inch pieces and then toasted them in the oven for about 400 degrees for like 10 minutes, just until they're nice and golden brown. You can also make them in the air fryer. Just lightly spray the air fryer basket and then they take about five or 10 minutes in there. And there you have it. We hope you're bowled over with this recipe. And for more recipes and resources from your Mealtime Mentors, visit FestFoods.com.